take everything you knew about hollandaise and just toss it out a window. Vegans are taking this sauce back and it's 10 times easier than the traditional way. It's time to learn and grow together starting now. For the full recipe and more, check out the link in the description. Trotting along my secret subliminal cooking culinary curriculum, this recipe touches base on emulsification. It's the reason this recipe works, but I'll get into the nerdy stuff a little bit later. Let's go for it. Grab a container suitable for an immersion blender and add in one cup of unsweetened soy milk as well as one tablespoon of lemon juice. Give this a good stir and you've basically created a buttermilk. This is good to know in case you need it for a recipe and can be done with almost any non-dairy milk. Next, add in 1 4 teaspoon each of the following. Turmeric, minced dried onion, and prepared yellow mustard. We'll give that a quick mix with our immersion blender before slowly adding in 4 to 6 tablespoons of either sunflower, corn, or rapeseed oil. Now to the fun stuff. Well, at least I'm having fun, I hope you are too. As the blades turn inside our sauce, it's breaking apart our oil into small droplets that are being surrounded and suspended by our emulsifier ingredient, our mustard, and the natural soy lecithin that's inside the soy milk. You see, emulsification is the process when two liquids that normally would not mix become combined. Oil and water don't normally mix, right? Prepared mustard, dry mustard, soy lecithin, gargum, and carrageenan are all great vegan emulsifiers. Xanthan gum could work in a pinch, although it is not technically considered an emulsifier. This process creates a thicker hollandaise sauce. The basics here are what make vinaigrettes combine, and this can be learned and then applied later on in your home cooking elsewhere. That's why I thought it was important that you knew. Season with black pepper, salt, and cayenne pepper to taste. Refrigerate until ready, serve with blanched and grilled asparagus or over your own custom vegan benedict. Making meals a little more special, our vegan hollandaise is ready. Tell me, which recipe should we veganize next in our quest? If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can grow and help more people just like you. If you're new to the Veggie Nerd, my name is Eric. I'm a vegan chef creating weekly food content with an occasional nerdy twist. Stick around a while by subscribing and let's empower self-care through food together. If you don't want the cooking adventures to end, check out how I blanched my vegetables before I grilled them. Click the video on the screen now to check it out. I'm really glad you made it, and I'll see you over in the next one.